all right you guys before the video gets started i just wanted to let you know that there's a bonus video in the description right before i got to editing this video i decided to hop on demon slayer for a little bit and i made someone rage quit the link to that video will be in the description and check it out what's up you guys it's your boy delft and welcome back to another video so today we are ranting on ed zero zombie uprising ed zero zombie uprising i was forcing myself to love this game bro and to the people that came to my live stream last night you guys heard me say i was loving the game i was addicted to it because i'm recording this on july 13th I got the game on July the 11th. I got the game a day early because I pre-ordered it, which was nice of them. But anyway, I got 13 hours into this game and the game only been out for two days. And keep in mind, that's between work and IRL shit that I had to take care of. 13 hours, the game has only been out for two days for me and I have 13 hours, bruh. My point is, bruh, I was forcing myself to love the game. I was convincing myself that I was loving the game, man. In reality, this game was pissing me off. I hated this goddamn game. I was not enjoying myself at all, my guy. Now, here's the thing with that. The reason I was trying to force myself to love the game and the reason I was convincing myself that the game was good was because I had so much respect for the game. The reason I had so much respect for the game, before I go any further, social media links are in the description before I forget. The reason I had so much respect for the game is because first, the game had this option to where you can switch to how you want the graphics, this one or that one. You can switch between how you wanted the graphics, which was dope. And what's so impressive about that is that between the two graphics, both of them look 100% different. The game looked totally different. You didn't know what you were playing. Like one graphic, the original graphic just looks outstanding. And the other one looks retro and really, really dope. And it was a $30 game while other developers out here copying and pasting and charging 70. But this game, two graphics they both look 100 percent different you charge 30 and plus i had so much respect for the game one of the main things that made me respect the game so much is that the game felt like a playstation 2 retro like hack and slash dungeon type of game it just felt so good it felt like i was playing like some playstation 2 samurai game and it was so goddamn dope but I felt myself getting more annoyed and more pissed at the game than actually loving it. But like I said, I was trying to force myself and convince myself that it was good because of the things I previously mentioned. Now with that out the way, let's get to what led to the downfall of me not liking this game. First of all, I love how you have it advertised in the trailers, on the cover of the game and everything. The way you have it advertised is that you get to play with the samurai, the ninja, and the sumo. But you didn't tell nobody you have to play with the samurai first and I guess you unlock the ninja and the sumo. I might got that order wrong. The thing is, my guy, you should be able to go into this game and start with whoever you want to play with, my guy. I, whoever you want to play with, you start with the um, samurai, then you unlock the ninja, and then you get the sumo. See, because keep in mind, this review is subjective. What pissed me off about the game and what made me go into this game ne negatively, right? is that I was so excited bro I'm like oh man I can't wait to play with the the sumo wrestler oh I can't wait to play with that badass female ninja but no no you you gotta play with the samurai uh-uh fuck you nigga you gotta play with the samurai first even though you don't want to play with him no you gotta play with the samurai first fuck y'all for that bro that was just something I hated that's just something I personally hated keep in mind this is a subjective review and that's something I personally hated I just feel like when you boot up this game you should be able to start the game with whoever you want to play with sumo ninja or samurai but forcing me to start the game with the samurai i feel like it's complete bullshit and i i truly truly hate that my guy 
I made me think I was going to be able to play with these three epic, well two because I think the samurai is boring, these two epic ass characters, but no, you, mm -mm. like that was, that was already a step in the negatives for me and I just personally hated that. That's not an objective flaw with the game, bro. That's just something I personally hated myself looking at the game from my, you know, point of view. Now, let's talk about how annoying the game is, my guy. Why does the character ragdoll? And that is something that is so annoying about the game, my guy. Like I said, I was trying to power through it because my respect for this game was, you know, blinding me from how really annoyed I was at the game. Every time I would go for a move and I would try to do a move, I would just like start ragdolling because a zombie hit me or these different type of enemies would hit me which something I'm about to get into. It was so goddamn annoying. What's so extra annoying about the ragdolling? Like I can forgive the ragdolling but why wouldn't I go for a skill attack? I ragdoll just because I got hit by a certain enemy at a certain time. Like, I would go for an attack, but because an enemy hit me, I would start ragdolling. But what makes it even worse is if you got multiple zombies coming at you, bro, and you get hit and you ragdoll, you, they could just keep, like, clowning on you until your character decides to get back up. I've died so many times because I got hit by a random attack out of nowhere. I ragdoll and I died because... I, what was I supposed to do? Like, I would just ragdoll onto the ground and the enemy would just keep attacking me. And it's like, I can't defend myself because I'm down. That shit was so annoying, bruh. It was so goddamn annoying. Now, let's get to the enemy types. These annoying enemy types. First, the, um, I guess, bomb, the bomb thrower zombies, I guess that's what you'll call them. The bomb thrower zombies. I'm so sick of going into a herd of zombies, you know, doing my combos, slicing, hitting my skill attacks, you know, trying to have a good time, right? Boom, zombie threw a bomb at me. It was so annoying, bro. Trying to enjoy my game. Boom. Zombie throws zombie throws a bomb at me. I and I know what some people might be saying, bro. Yo, Delph, why don't you just take those enemies out first? Now here's the thing, right? When it's like four or five zombies in that room, yes, you can do that. But if it's like a whole herd of them, keep in mind, bro, that's easier said than done. Keep in mind, you got all these zombies, you know, doing massive damage, mind you, clawing at you, attacking you. So you gotta keep evading and you got to keep parrying and stuff like that you got to keep evading you got to keep blocking you got to keep attacking back so it's like you know you got to keep moving keep going and stuff like that bro plus there's a whole herd of zombies my guy and if you have more than like one or two of those motherfuckers in that room it gets real annoying because they're just gonna keep throwing bombs at you and it makes it so annoying because you're just trying to kill these wave of zombies boom there's a bomb boom there's a bomb so yes i do do that when i go into certain rooms i try to get rid of those niggas first when it's like five six seven zombies in a room but if it's a whole herd you can only do so much bro you can't get to them like for example you go into a room you see there's a herd of zombies so you try to lure them out so you can attack them and then out of nowhere boom you blow up it was so annoying and guess what you ragdoll and you can die until your character decides to get back up that goes to my second enemy type the samurai um same thing with the bomb throwers the samurai they'll be blended in with that horde and i'll be like slicing them but the samurai zombie just keeps parrying it you, you see what i'm saying like it was so annoying because when i see a herd of zombies i'm just trying to you know, I'm just attacking them all at once. You feel me? Like, I'll be giving the game that warrior game treatment while I'll just be attacking all the zombies at once. And then, boom, I, like, a zombie that's in that horde parried one of my attacks. And I'm like, the fuck? It's so annoying. This game is so annoying. This is one of the most annoying games I have ever played. And the giant zombie slicing them is like slicing a brick wall. And they are truly annoying, my guy. They are truly annoying. I You just go up to them. It's like slicing a brick goddamn wall. Slice, slice, dodge. Slice, slice, dodge. Slice, slice, dodge. Like, I hate that because the character is just a brick fucking wall. I hate that. Um, the screaming woman, I hate how you go into a room and the screaming woman's there, she screams, and now you got a herd of zombies around you, which is so frustrating. This game is so annoying. I am so happy I'm deleting this game and never looking back, bro. This game was so annoying. I, and I decided to get out of that frustration, my guy.
Oh, and last one, the ones that run at you super lightning speed, like, yes, that was truly annoying. The ones that run at you super lightning speed, I really, really hate that. Truly hate that. And to add on to that frustration, once again, I love how you're in like a herd of zombies and, uh, you know, you're trying your best to keep the zombies off you, but I love how it's just such a jumbled up mess and it's such a headache to play this game. For example, anything could happen. I Let's say you're on the floor, you're on floor nine, you're killing it, and then one zombie throws a bomb at your head and you get knocked over by a big zombie and that's... Uh, that leaves you open for a zombie to grab you. And what can you do? You're just ragdolling all over the place because this game is a jumbled up mess. Like, fuck this game, bruh. Now, another thing, bruh. Why is hunger in this game? Why is hunger in this game, bruh? Now, let me be honest with y'all, all right? Let me keep it real with y'all for a second. What made me absolutely cut this game off is I finally made it to the final boss, right? Finally made it to the final boss, and believe it or not, I figured out, I figured out this boss's pattern. Like, I knew how to dodge every single one of his attacks. I got comfortable. I felt like I was gonna beat this boss this time, right? I was gonna beat this boss on this try. I felt confident that I was gonna beat him. I was doing good, dodging all his attacks, getting my hits in, dodging his attacks. Then my character got hungry and I started dying by starvation. Wasn't even about the boss fight. I was so, bro, how annoying is that? And bro, you know how frustrating that is? Do you know how annoying that is? Do you know how stupid that is, bro? You're in the middle of a boss fight, locked in on this boss fight, right? You know how you're playing um, near Automata, near Replicant, um, Bloodborne, you know what I'm saying? You know how you're just playing one of those type of games? You know, when you're in that moment, you're trying to figure out the boss, kill that boss, learn this attack patterns. You know how you're in that moment? Well, imagine that and you're killing that boss fight. Well, not killing it, but you're doing pretty good in that boss fight. You're dodging his attacks, getting your hits in, and you developed a pretty good strategy, right? But imagine in the middle of all that, your character's health is going down because they're fucking hungry. I tried to look past that. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, this game did so many things morally that I was respecting. But I realized how annoying that is. I wish they would leave that out of video games. Oh, you gotta eat. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. If you're going to do that, do like Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Where eating is not a necessity. You just need it to level up. Like, if I go fight in Sakuna, right? If I go to a boss in Sakuna and I'm fighting this boss in Sakuna. Oh, I'm about to lose because... Sakuna got hungry. Like, in Sakuna of Rights and Ruin, if Sakuna gets hungry, your health just won't refill. That's it. It won't start depleting on its own. So damn stupid, bruh. See, don't make eating a necessity. Like, just make it to where it helps you in the game. Oh, your character has to eat to level up. Oh, your character has to eat for it to keep refilling. Don't make it a necessity. That is so stupid. You know how many times I died from starvation despite how good I was doing in that fucking level? Fuck this game. I'm so glad I'm done with this game, bro. I was trying to look past this at first, but this is also really stupid. I love how they have scrolls that gives you that skill set like i love how throughout the level you can build your own skill set with scrolls you find throughout the dungeon which is incredibly stupid like i have never seen a game do this stupid shit before you should be able to have your own moves have them equipped and then go into the level with those moves set i shouldn't be going through these levels oh i hope i get this skill set for this time i'm going oh i hope i get this that is so stupid bro now i'm noticing how dumb that is i'm going from floor to floor hoping I find a scroll to get meditation instead of me just having it like let me buy it or let me earn it like it's common in a game like this you should be able to go to a skill tree level up buy the move or train with somebody like you should be able to do something to get that move permanently level up to get it get it through a skill tree um go to a trainer and learn that move from him something like that not oh i hope i find it randomly during this level this game is so stupid bro another thing i wanted to cover bro is the intoxication bro i mean that's not a big flaw i mean just avoid getting drunk bro um uh, but there's another enemy type same thing as the bomb throwing there's another type of bomb throwing zombie um but he can like 
make you drunk. Is this game is just stupid? I give Ed Zero Zombie Uprising a negative, negative twenty out of ten. I this game is complete bullshit. I respect the game morally, but no, mm -mm. I feel good having a game that made me feel like I was going back to those PS2 um, style games, bruh. But nah, man, this ain't it. Just because you made the game nostalgic and made it like a PS2 type game doesn't mean you get to make it annoying, uh, jumbled up mess, and whatever the fuck this is. It's your boy Delta. Negative 20 out of 10. I'm out.